Let's go to our reporter, Conan Young, who's uh, over the hill, really, in Governor's Bay. Conan, um, boy, it looks magnificent where you are. How far are you from the fire there? we could uh, get uh, to where uh, this fire is happening and also to where we understand this helicopter uh, crash actually happened. Uh, I can see from here uh, that's the transmission tower uh, Sugarloaf uh, just in front of the car park where we understand this helicopter crash happened and then I can also see uh, the ridge uh, by Marley Hill which we've been hearing a lot about. We're on the eastern flank of this fire. Uh, talk there, you just heard about um, you know, not wanting these two fires to join together. So we're on the eastern flank, that's the western flank where uh, it initially started. And so we can still see uh, smoke coming over the ridge uh, from Marley Hill towards Governor's Bay. However, conditions here have changed a lot. Uh, just a, a, about an hour ago, the wind was really gusty and uh, had been all day and, and was last night as well. And it blown a lot of smoke into Governor's Bay, which is in the direct path uh, uh, of, you know, the wind was blowing the, the, the smoke in this direction. Uh, and so this morning, um, you know, I, I spoke to residents, one said that this morning the ash was falling like snow around here, uh, had really got inside um, her house and, and the homes of, of other people I spoke to. They said everything sort of smells now of, of ash. Uh, just excuse it, the motorbike going past there. Uh, and so, uh, you know, obviously the residents here, uh, you know, the ones I spoke to, they um, had a bit of a sleepless night last night. The helicopters yeah. weren't able to uh, fight this fire, obviously, in the night time. And so they, one resident actually sat in their lounge w watching through the window these flames up on the ridge uh, above the town and, and just hoping that they didn't come any closer. Yes, I know that uh, we've been speaking to people who had very nervous nights, people forced to evacuate their homes and not expecting to come back to them and in most cases miraculously they found their homes are still standing today thanks to the great work of the firefighters there. Conan, can you confirm helicopters are back up in the air? Obviously uh, that will be a close-knit community in Christchurch of people who fly choppers in and around the city. Uh, the pilot who's been lost will be known to everyone but some of the choppers are working again we understand. Yeah, absolutely. Look, they have been. In fact, I, this helicopter crash happened at 2.30, but it wasn't long after 2.30 that those helicopters uh, with the monsoon buckets started that important work again. Also, an aeroplane uh, was being used to fight this fire. So, obviously, uh, the CAA had said that they were going to suspend operations, but you know, in the interest of actually getting this fire yeah. out, obviously, the, um, these crews have decided, look, they really just have to continue with this work. Also, uh, has to be said, as well as the residents here in Governors Bay, where I am, you know, this is uh, where the volunteer firefighters come from that are fighting this fire. We've heard the siren go off twice in the last hour at the local fire station calling volunteers down there uh, and so they've all been flat out. We've had a, a couple, um, we've been based at the, the local pub here, a couple have come into the pub and told us that um, they've been up all night. Uh, we spoke to one chap just before he was about to knock off, knock off after having you know, fought the fire all night. They were also uh, one of the crews that responded to that helicopter crash so you know uh, affecting everybody uh, in, you know, in, in this neck of the woods at the moment, but uh, in, in very different ways. Our reporter Conan Young, live from Governor's Bay. Thanks so much, Conan.